Hello and welcome to the channel. A uh, really quick video today, um, back to JavaScript, uh, and we will try uh, Hono and WebSockets. So Java runtime will be bun, uh, but according to the uh, Hono uh, documentation, you can use WebSockets on Cloudflare workers as well. There is an adapter for that, and also there's a separate library if you want uh, Node.js. But yeah, today it's bun, and also uh, to pair it uh, with the front end, uh, I'm going to use um, HTMX, and in HTMX there is extension that supports web WebSockets. So I believe historically it was built in as an experimental feature inside uh, HTMX, but uh, in uh, recent releases it was removed uh, from the core, uh, but you can still use it as an extension. So uh, let's see what we have uh, in our code. So uh, here we have um, the application. And as usual, you just create a new application, Hono. And then these two lines is what you need for WebSocket support. So that there is a create bun WebSocket and you'll get upgrade uh, WebSocket and WebSocket from it. As you can see, I imported it from, uh, from bun and uh, this create WebSocket, bun WebSocket is from uh, bun ho hono slash bun. So um, first root that we have is just uh, index uh, and it will uh, render some HTML for us. As you can see in the script section, I import um, HTMX itself, uh, uh, like the core, and also extra line to add this WebSocket support. Um, just simple uh, HTML here, uh, and I commented out the bit that's doing the uh, WebSocket request for now. Uh, let's restart the server and uh, it should, yeah, it now shows empty page with all the status with this uh, uh, h1 tag. Uh, then we're going down to our get uh, for the WebSockets and uh, the path will be order slash order ID, but it's, it's just hard coded for now, and then status. And for demonstration purpose, um, let me actually remove this inline uh, toggle inline hits. Yeah, uh, it's much cleaner. So uh, as um, example, we'll just start our interval uh, when we open the WebSocket. And then each uh, two seconds, we'll uh, send uh, some text. And uh, as we're using HTMX, uh, this text should be um, HTML. Right, so I went with this lazy path and just edited it as a string, uh, but uh, in real uh, code you can do something like uh, a JSX component and then just render it to string right here. Um, in that case, you, you you will be able to write your like normal JSX. Um, but yeah, that should work, and then just on close we, we clear this uh, uh, interval that we created. Uh, it's quite dummy, but you can see how it could be used. Like, you know, when the uh, server knows that the status changes, uh, we just uh, use the opened connection, open WebSocket connection, and we send an update. And also you can implement stuff like um, real real time chatting and all the stuff what's usually used for in the WebSocket context. So now uh, let's move back here and let's uncomment this out, uh, this lines. And as you can see, now we in HTMX word, we use uh, HXX VS for WebSockets. And then we specify our WebSocket endpoint. For this block, it will be order one status. And then we have uh, our div inside with this order update. And then we specify that we want to uh, append content as we as we receive it so now um, uh, if we go back here you can see that the div that we are returning will have this order update id and this attribute is the same so basically when we receive more and more items like that from our websocket endpoint hdmx we will just append it and we'll see all the previous messages as well 
um, and let's demonstrate that. So I need to save this and I need to restart my server. Now if I reload the page, um, hopefully, yeah, we see now new lines appearing and it's actually doing the, the calls. So if I inspect it and go to the uh, network and reload the page, you can see that we uh, initiating the connection, the status uh, order. And yeah, we, after that we have an open connection and we receive the messages. So I guess that's it for today. Um, and as usual, if you're interested in the source code, uh, the link is in the description. There's a separate repo where you can find everything. Uh, thanks for watching the video and let me know what you think. Um, see you next video. Bye bye.